bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul would boast of the Lord because he has made me glad. Our word for today, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 15. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For we struggle, and it's not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil come, you may be able to stand your grounds and after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace finally my brethren be strong in the lord for some of us, when we hear the word be strong, when we hear the word power, our thoughts may would have wandered to that of physical strength, stamina, having resiliency. See, there are many kinds of strength. For some of us, we are physically strong. Some of us, we are emotionally strong, whilst there are others who are psychologically strong. Child of God, I've come by to let you know that it doesn't matter how strong you are. True strength is not of the body, but it's of the spirit. And there are times when we, we, we have to fight for a cause. Yes, there are times when we have to fight for a cause. See, there are many things that we have to fight for. For some of us, our fight is not against flesh and blood, but our fight is against sickness. Our fight is against disease and infirmities. It's about broken relationships and we fight for our children. Some of us, we fight for our very life. However, may I forewarn us that, that it, it is the armor of God that will keep us safe. It's the armor of God that will keep us strong in the fight. See, to, to trust the armor of God is to trust God because it has already been field tested and proven itself trustworthy. See, my mind goes back to David. When David was about to fight Goliath, Saul would have clothed him with an armor. As David tried to walk, he said, this seems strange. I'm not used to these. You see, it's a bit too cumbersome. And with this, he resorted to what he would have already known a sling and five stones he went out with full armor faith hope trust confidence word and truth child of god as you go through your day know this god wants you to be strong not strong in your own self but god wants you to be strong in him God wants you to be strong in him. See, see, Solomon was the wisest man. Samson, he was the strongest man. David was gifted with devotion. However, we see well, even though they were strong, even though they were strong, there were times in their lives that when, when that did not matter. They, they just needed the strength of God to face the schemes of the enemy. I say to you today, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what you're going through, put on the whole armor of God so that you would be able to stand in the evil day. So until next time, be reminded, God wants us to be strong in him. The time has come for us to outfit ourselves with the armor of God. Shalom.